What up, YouTube? Back on the 63 Impala. Uh, just making a quick video. Uh, I know I ain't made no video in a while. But I have been working. The problem is uh, trying to work and record this at the same time, man. I understand now why a lot of these guys don't work and record at the same time because it's kind of hard to do. Um, but, yep, I have been doing a little work on it. I got the top back on it. Got the flow pan set in there. Not welded in yet, but sat in there. What I'm doing now is I'm bracing the car up. I don't know if you can see that. Getting a lot of backlight off the garage. But bracing it in now. Got these steel braces here. And I'm running some across the other side too. Then I'm going to brace it sideways as well. I've already set my door gaps. I don't know if you can see that. To where I want them to be. And I bought this uh, bolt kit for the front end. Because <clears throat> when I got the front end, I didn't have any bolts for it. So, this brand new bolt kit for it. And then, got all the J clips or U clips, whatever you want to call them. It's got them in there too. Uh, come with the kit. Got like uh, bolts for the hood, everything. So, I'm going to run all new bolts in it. Uh, couldn't really afford the chrome ones or the stainless steel ones, but I might come lay it down the line or something. Just trying to ride right now, but I've been putting them bolts in, getting the front end on here. You know, everything. Got my motor set in, new radiator, new steering gear, new uh, brake booster, chrome brake booster headers on it. So. Motor setting in, ready to go. Just need to do the wiring harness. I'll probably do a video on that too. Do my own wiring harness. I'm not gonna pay $600 for no wiring harness. I could do it myself. I've been installing stereos for years. So a little wiring harness ain't nothing to me really. I've been installing show, um, show stereo systems for years. Uh, just the competition hood stuff, you know. Uh, being from Chicago and all, that's what we really in, was into in my, in my day, so. This is as far as I've ever went with a car, but if they know me around Chicago, they know it's going to be something, but I've been putting them bolts in, I got uh, this side over here, doors aligned and everything, about to weld me some braces in, uh, got the car about, couldn't really get the car that far up off the ground, but just enough where the wheels roll and it's not as low as it was. Um, and as you can see, the reason I'm, I'm bracing this car up because on these convertibles, man, these rockers go bad. See, rocker right now going bad. And these cars like literally want to fold in half, man. Like right by the rocker. So I got me a jack on this side. I lifted it up. Until, um, until I got a good door gap up in there, about a 316 door gap. And I check it with a uh, drill bit, a 316 drill bit. As long as it's able to go in there freely, I um, might use a more professional way when we do the final alignment. But for right now, it's good just to know that, you know, we kind of own spot. I also have a jack over here doing the same thing. Lifting uh, that rocker to where we got a decent door jack. Gap it down on the bottom and on the sides. Took the whole quarter out like a dummy, but this is what you have to do when you go behind somebody else's work. Um, no. So, all that's been removed. Start putting the wheel well in once we get the car braced up. And yep, that's all we're doing right now is just bracing the car. And get ready for some welding. Yep. All right, YouTube.